is today I'm going to share my favorite styles to wear a sarong and how to tie them. The size sarong that I'm using today is 4 foot by 6 foot. Keep in mind the larger the sarong, the more ways you can tie it. So let's go ahead and get started. Start by holding the sarong horizontally. Pull the two ends out in front of you, cross them, and then twist them around each other once. And then tie securely with a knot behind your back. Once the knot's secure, you can adjust the front to create a sweetheart neckline. This look is going to be longer, so we're going to tie it in the vertical position. Wrap the sarong around you, going under one arm and over the next. Tie securely with a knot at your shoulder and at your hip. bangle to accent this look. So start with your sarong in the horizontal position, take a wood bangle or any small bangle that you have, slip it onto the ends, and wrap the ends around your back, securing them tightly with a knot. Once they're secured, you can adjust the front. Look, we're starting the same way as the last one. I'm taking a wood bangle and slipping it over the ends of the sarong, pulling it tightly, and instead of tying it behind our back, I'm going to keep wrapping the ends of the sarong around the bangle. So I'm wrapping them twice each. So there's the first one wrapped twice, and then go ahead and wrap the second one. taught to tighten the bangle up to your bust line and then secure behind your neck with a knot. Wrap the sarong around you, holding the ends out in front, cross the ends over each other, and twist them around each other. Once or twice is good. I'm just going to twist them once. And then I'm twisting the ends, just kind of twirling them around. You don't have to do this, it's totally optional. But it just creates kind of a rope-like effect. And then secure with a knot behind your neck. a quick and easy way to tie a sarong dress. Hold the sarong horizontally, cross the ends in front of you, and tie them high up around your neck. open back version of the look we just did. So letting the sarong hang low on your back, cross the two ends of the sarong in front of you, and tie behind your neck. We're tying just the very ends because we want it to stay very loose and flowy, and then adjust the front around your bust. A longer look this time. So hold your sarong in the vertical position, tie the two ends behind your neck, take one side of your sarong, bring it around the back of you, let it meet up with the other side, and secure with a knot at the hip.
Now let's do a slightly different version than our last look. Again, we're starting with the sarong in the vertical position. I'm securing it with a knot behind my neck. I'm gonna take one side of the sarong and twist it around to the other side. This time I'm twisting it more. And I'm gonna bring it all the way to the front. So this time instead of securing it on the side of our hip, we're gonna secure it in the very front with the knot. same way for this look. With the sarong in the vertical position, I'm tying the two ends behind my neck, but this time I'm taking the bottom end of the sarong and I'm pulling that up around my hip and I'm twisting it to the side. And I'm going to tie it at the hip. shoulder toga sort of look. So with your sarong in the horizontal position, bring one corner of the sarong up to one shoulder. The rest of the sarong wrap around you below your bust line across your back and meet up with that other corner. Slip your arm inside and secure with a knot on your shoulder. let your sarong lay across the front of you in the horizontal position and then cross the two ends behind you across your back. Bring the two ends in front of you and tie them at the neck. you in the horizontal position with the ends straight out in front of you. Now pinch the fabric that's closest to your bust line and tie a double knot. Once that's tied, hold the ends straight out from you again and fold them inward in an accordion style. And the extra fabric at the top just tuck into your bust line. simplest and easiest ways to tie a sarong. We're holding it in the horizontal position and we're just going to tie a basic double knot in the front and let the ends hang down loose. and simple way to wear a sarong and that's as a skirt. For this all you need to do is tie a double knot at your hip and you're all done. of beach kimonos. You want to bring the sarong up over your shoulders, find the top corner, and bring it midway down the side of the sarong. And then tie a knot. This is going to create the sleeve. And then you want to repeat on the other side. 
So tie another knot, just a couple of double knots will do. And now you have two sleeves holding your sarong onto like a beautiful beach kimono. different version. This time we're going to pull the sarong higher up around our neck so there's more fabric draping down. Then find the bottom corner of the sarong and tie that at the midway point. So that's going to create our sleeve. We're starting from the bottom this time instead of the top corner like we did last time. And then repeat on the other side, finding that bottom corner and tying it midway up that side of the sarong. make a flowy razorback beach cover-up. I'm folding my sarong in half and then I'm going to tie those two ends together. So I'm tying them in just a regular double knot and when you open it up it's going to have two holes. Those are your armholes and that's what's going to create your razorback. 